Okay, I'm gonna move this over, bro. Open SSH vulnerability, guys. Open SSH vulnerability, opening Linux servers to remote command injection. I never have SSH open on my, like, on my servers, I never have SSH open. Never, never, bro. I literally access it directly from, like, web handle interfaces where my shit is, um, my shit is IP uh, allow listed. And uh, my local network is IP allow listed. So lock your shit down. Maybe don't have SSH open on machines that you don't need to have it on. Like literally do anything else. I don't know. Like I know it's I know it's saying a lot. I know it's saying you know have WireGuard for example. If you need access to a server, keep it SS shut. SS shut. I agree. Um, what's up, Marvel? So who lives in a pineapple? No, I'm kidding. Um, basically WireGuard. Have WireGuard running, have like a VPN running, you know, make it so that you actually have something in front of your SSH server. If you need to have an SSH server exposed somewhat to the internet, you know, basically have it behind a VPN, have it behind WireGuard, have it behind network access controls that are sufficient for your risk appetite. We call it a risk appetite. Um... So yeah, your risk appetite won't be the same in every context. Hey, thank you for the follow and the like. Appreciate you. Um, let's see. Let's see. And yo, that's... Oh, no. <laughs> NordVPN. Papela NordVPN. Um, so let's take a look at Los Angeles Sim Swiper. Uh, oh, yeah. Here, let me get rid of this article really fast. Los Angeles Sim Swipers uh, pleading guilty to cybercrime charges. Let's take a look. Amir Golshan of Los Angeles. Never trust a man named Amir. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Pled guilty to uh, to perpetrating multiple cybercrime schemes using Sim Swap. There's this one guy I don't like named Amir, so, you know. This one guy I really, really don't like named Amir, and then there's a guy I really like named Amir. So be cautious. Not all Amirs, not all Amirs but most certainly the one I know in particular. Most certainly this guy, too doing a fuck ton of crime let me grab something from my couch guys i forgot something on my couch i need it <coughs> okay guys you don't even know an amir lucky you no i'm kidding um okay so I lived in LA, so I know a ton. It's like the land of Persians over there. You know what I mean? This guy's probably Persian. He's probably Persian. He's from LA. His name's Amir. He's probably Persian, bro. Um, all right, let's run it. Let's see what my, my mans are getting up to. Let's see what my mans are getting up to. My people committing crimes out here, bro. For real. My people just be out here committing crimes, bro. All right. Let's run it. Los Angeles Sim Swiper pleads guilty to cybercrime charges. Sim Amir Golshan of Los Angeles pleaded guilty to perpetrating multiple cybercrime schemes using Sim Swapping. Damn, Amir, stop A Los doing Angeles crime, man has pleaded guilty to using Sim Swapping to perpetrate multiple cybercrime schemes targeting hundreds of victims. Between April 2019 and February 2023, the man, Amir Hossein Golshan, 24, engaged in account takeovers. Zell payment fraud and Apple support oh, impersonation, too young. causing roughly seven hundred and forty thousand dollars <laughs> in losses to his victims. He's too young to be my According man. to the plea agreement, in December two thousand twenty-one, relying on SIM swapping, a technique in which a threat actor convinces a phone carrier to transfer a phone number to a SIM card in the attacker's control, Golshin took over the Instagram account of an influencer with over one hundred thousand followers, using the unauthorized access to the account. He contacted the victim's friends impersonating the influencer, oh. asking them to send money via Zelle, PayPal, and other platforms, obtaining thousands of dollars from the unsuspecting victims. No, I'm not like a tech support scammer. Basically, what they do is you call the, like Verizon or T-Mobile or something, and you need to have some information, right? And then you use that information and you social engineer somebody into getting them to swap your phone over. Like you say, like... Oh, I don't have that info on me right now. Oh, man, I'm traveling. Oh, Jesus, you know, I'm right about to go into a meeting. A, 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 a. Thank you for the fall. So, yeah, basically, you're like, oh, no, dude. Like, I, 
They're like, oh, I don't have that information right now. No, I don't remember. Oh, geez, no, I don't have that on me. Oh, man, my wife has that. She's in a meeting right now. Oh, dude, please, like, we need this done right now. Like, holy shit, somebody stole my phone. You know what I mean? Um, and you just, you do that. You do that. So, yeah, not a tech support scammer, but he is scamming tech support, right? Like, the, the phone carriers, the mobile carriers, the people who are actually working in the shop, right? Like, working in the phone shop. Like, hello, this is Verizon. You know what I mean? Like, they're usually just rotating you to, like, their support specialists in stores, like, in actual stores. Reverse scam? No, not really. It's a sim swapping. It's not like a reverse scam. They're social engineering. And then with that social engineering, you get access to what you need to do more crime. Hey, does Intel ME as a very special backdoor? Intel ME? No, not really. Not off the top of my head, man. Intel ME backdoor. Let me see. Intel management engine. Um... Oh, that's an old one. That's an old one. That's a really old one. There's like something new that kind of reminds me of that, and it's on my Twitter. It's like if you take a look at the post from this past week, there's something. Uh, what is it? It's like a management engine for Gigabyte and AMI. You know, like AMI? You guys remember AMI? Oh, wait. Nope. Let's see. Do 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 Ben Shabibo. Let's see. Do 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 AI shit. Do 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 do. W fart free water. Do 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 do. It's somewhere here. Oh, here it is. So this Gigabyte BMC software. It's also a sort of little backdoor here. It's basically a separate core within the CPU of the chipset. Okay, yeah, this does ring a bell. Now this rings a bell. It can read and write without leaving a trace of tampering. Also has its own network stack. That yes, this rings a bell now. Now with the details. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't remember it by name, but now you're saying separate core within the CPU. I remember this. Yeah, this was like when I was still in school, actually. This is when I was still in school, I think. But yeah, Intel uh, has definitely had security problems in their chipsets that have been known to lead to backdoors for a while. Um, and yeah, I've heard of Intel ME quite a bit, and I didn't remember the exact context, but yes, that sounds right. You can't be sure, but the way I have been hacked, I can only explain it through Intel ME backdoor. Well, you know, um, once you've ruled out everything, you know, whatever's left may be true. Once you've ruled out everything, whatever's left may be true. Yeah. Or wh however that fucking saying goes. You guys know what I'm talking about. All right, let's keep it going. Using the unauthorized access to the account, oh, yeah. so basically he also locked PayPal the influencer money. out of her accounts and sent her messages demanding a $2,000 ransom for Damn, returning control of the dipping. accounts. According to the plea agreement, Ooh. Golshin admitted to using SIM swapping against two other victims in January 2022. After taking control of one of the victim's social media accounts, he demanded a $5,000 ransom, threatening to release personal videos and photos. If you don't have, like, network security measures in place, gateway, firewall, if you don't have access control mechanisms in place, there are a ton of ways you could be hacked besides for, you know, just, like, a firmware level, you know, like, deficit in, like, Intel. Golshin targeted roughly 500 individuals in SIM swapping and Zell fraud schemes, receiving approximately $82,000 in payments from That's his right. victims. Court documents show that the defendant also impersonated Apple anybody. support personnel to gain oh, access man. to victim accounts and steal NFTs. Yes, <laughs> you stole their monkey digital pics. goods, defrauding five victims of between $2,000 and $389,000 each. Golshi pleaded guilty to unauthorized computer access, access to a computer to defraud, and wire fraud. Scheduled for sentencing on November 27th. He faces up to five years in prison for the computer access counts and up to 20 years in prison for wire fraud. Not my monkey pics, no! No! We're going to talk about the Norwegian government uh, IT sector getting hit with a zero day. Thank you to everyone who's followed me on Blue Skeet. Magda Marco. Mac to mark these nuts. Got them. It's not going to be bird app anymore. Yeah, it's going to be X. Apple learned so long ago was being hacked. So I rebooted it. Went to UE. If I disabled all wireless device, set a password uh, on the boot. I shit you not. The laptop turned itself on again. Uh, and when I opened the screen, it was spamming passwords on the UE. If I pass screen. Damn, bro. That's fucking wild. Uh, okay. Let's keep it going. So...
I always tell you guys not to do crime because I know a lot of people who have stolen tens of thousands of dollars from tech companies. Some of them are a part of this community when they should be in jail. But like, I like these guys, you know what I mean? I've worked with some of them in the past, you know what, like legitimate companies because I've never done cybercrime. And we all know is the, the law is the ultimate determinant of morality. Therefore, it's never justified to do any cybercrime any way, shape or form. Um, so yeah, let's continue. Um, uncle went to feather. Oh, damn, bro. God damn, bro. Yeah, exactly. My dad went to jail, but for white collar crime, <laughs> my dad went to jail for white collar crime long ass time ago. I usually don't share that, but <laughs> you know, fuck it. I don't care. It doesn't really have anything to do with me. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. Uh, this, we'll say this sim swapper, um, uh, caused approximately 740k in losses to victims. Eight hundred fifty. It says seven hundred forty. What you mean? Oh, you mean um? No, they're including that. They're including what he took in losses. He received eighty-two. Yeah, he received eighty-two. Yeah, they're including that. This is total losses. Seven hundred forty k in losses to victims. Uh, he convinced phone carriers to transfer the number of a famous or of let's say of yeah a famous instagram influencer and i wouldn't even say famous of a uh popular i wouldn't even say famous uh You only got 100,000 followers. What a fucking normie. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'll never get there unless I grow a nice pair of brains. Um, transfer the number of a popular Instagram influencer. And uh, and then extorted. Or not extorted. And then asked their followers for cash via Zell, PayPal, and other platforms. Uh, yeah. He also ransomed the... Or he also tried to get 2K from the... Can't add that. Too long. Hmm. Let's see. How long is he facing? He's facing... He is facing up to 25 years. There we go. Send tweet. Yo, they put the X on there? Whoa, bro. It's a whole different website now. It's a whole different website now. Wow. Yeah, already. <laughs> Elnerd Musky Boy. Elnerd Musky Boy. He's working hard, guys. Look, he's working hard. You guys can't say anything about him. He's working hard. If you say anything about him, you're you're billionaire ist. You're billionaire ist. You missed the bluebird. The bluebird was cute. The bird was cute. This shit is just fucking weird. Elnerd Musky Boy, common Elnerd Musky Boy L, actually. Common Elnerd Musky Boy L. Boom, 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 boom. 